B45, B46, B47, B48, 4 to 9. Now, we didn't, we didn't get one, but Volte had the Delta Wing. They went over to Germany and they found the Delta Wing. Boeing went over there and found the swept back wing. I learned about elasticity, bending and twisting. The beat, the, the, so the Delta Wing was Voltaire's. Voltaire was with Convair at that time. Anyway, I, I was working parasite airplanes in the Bombay of the B-36. And they were, and, the, and we put Delta Wing on them. And I went back to Symington and showed them, hey, this thing, this little bomber hmm, with Delta Wings on it, in the, carried in the B-36 Bombay, you know, could be over the target at Mach 2. Anyway, I went to Pentagon with this. He had told me, hey, keep coming back with more and more new stuff on this B-36. We, we can't let it die. We've got to... Hmm. So I went there with this thing here. I gave him a whole brochure that said, Potentialities of the B-36 Program. I was going to bring it, but I didn't bring it. Uh, I have it at home. Potentiality of the thing. Oh, when I got done showing him this parasite thing, well, he, you know, he said, well, and I had all previously sold the swept wing B-36 too. Swept the wings on a B-36, 30 degrees. I had done that with two prototypes, and that brought us up to Mach number 7.2. Didn't put it as much high, but up to 7.2. Now, when we were in there, when I got in there in the Symington's office, he called up uh, the Secretary of Defense. And uh, he said, you know the, how the B-36 is, what we've done with that B-36. Uh, we've got jet pods on it, which can get with more altitude. Uh, we made an RB out of it. Uh, we've got it up to seven tenths Mach number. And would you believe you're going to be able to get the B-36 to put something over the target at Mach 2? He told this to Forrestal, Secretary of Defense. He put his phone down and says, okay. You heard what I told him. Come with me around the front of my desk. So he could sit in front of his desk. Hoyt, come up here. Join me on the right. KB, KB Wolf, the bad guy, he was there too. He, he, KB, come up and get my left hand. Whitmer, you come up and hold one of either one of them. Now look, we're gonna now let's hold our hands together. And remember, the four of us. If this doesn't work, you heard what I told the secretary Forrestal. We're either gonna the four of us together walk until our hats float going east or west. <laughs> That's a true story. Now, if you want to know what, I mean, these were tough days. <laughs> but they all were full of stuff. And to me, the B-36 was the foundation of the greatness of the Fort Worth Division from there on. We learned to do a lot, a lot of things. But I got to tell you one you better believe. And that is, those guys that put those B-24s together, and the women, did a, a job that I've never heard of before. They got and delivered 11 B-24s a day, delivered seven days a week. 11 B-24s every single day, seven days a week. Now you figure it out. 
Now those uh, those guys, I think that Consolidated Volte, the rest of Lockheed Martins, you name the rest of it. It's the people of Fort Worth, and each one has had the drive to keep on going. With the 36 was the foundation. If we hadn't had the 36, we the corporation had put it, wrote us off the books. They didn't want us from San Diego. Okay. Adios. I, I, I knew I. I hate to be the bad guy of the evening and, uh, and, and slow Bob down a little bit. Don't, don't go away. But can, can you get that mic off? <laughs> It's feedback time. What's that? Oh, it's it's oh, feedback, you know, Bob. You, know, you want these? You give them. What a what a wonderful presentation, huh? It just really was great. Bob, you've done such a good job on it. We'd like to we'd like to extend uh, some B thirty six gifts to you, if we can. Here's Joe Simpson with it. For the hat and the golf shirt. What we'd like to do is, uh, Mr. Whitmer did agree that he'd answer a couple of questions from the audience. I know it's getting late. Why don't Why don't we uh, pick the two best questions and let him uh, refer to them? In the meantime, if anybody needs to, they can uh, they can go to the restroom, or they can uh, go get a get a drink of soda over there. But I'm sure some of you, or most of you, want to stick around and hear what he's got to say on questions. What do we got for a good question tonight? Uh, go ahead, Don. Tell us about Eamon Carter. What kind of a man was he? God, he was the greatest man Fort Worth has ever had. I mean, obviously. He he was, he was Mr. Fort Worth. I mean, I, I, you have to look at it this way. I was a young fellow. Uh -huh. I'm an old man. I'm 88 years old. I'm, I'm no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> but I was extremely impressed with Eamon Carter. The, the way he, you know, the way he uh, treated things. His vision, his vision was uh, ahead all the time. He knew what was going on in today's world, but he also had the vision of, of what was good for Fort Worth in the future. Now, look what he did. He tried to set up the he set up the airport, mm -hmm. but he went a little bit too far with that. You see, he he tried to cut Dallas out, yeah. and then yeah. Dallas bit came back and bit him. <laughs> but Eamon Carter, if he, I'm telling you. The company gave up. We were dead. All us poor guys at Fort Worth weren't going to be taken back to San Diego. And they had decided, none of them came to the meeting with Symington. They didn't want to come because the program was dead. The odds that they had out there said, my God, this, you know, this is, these guys are just wasting their time. Right on. Uh, uh, and, and this has been our life. I think all our programs. I've been told everything. You know, the B-36. I've been kidded. You know, oh, it's just an old subsonic lumber boss. B-58. You know, they told me that well, I was nuts on that. Benny Shriver helped me out with, with Kurt LeMay on that. And and, and our our own corporate office killed the B-58. That's another story. Well, the, maybe, maybe the, what we'll have to do is uh, have Bob Whitmer back. Well, that would take. There's a lot more of these than we'd like to hear. <laughs> Thanks again, Bob. One last thing before we break up. Uh, Councilman Chuck Silcox uh, is uh, here and would like to address the group for just a few minutes. Chuck Silcox.